John Polk is the former chairman of Exodus International and the co-author of Love One Out, How God's Love Helped Two People Leave Homosexuality and Find Each Other. So this guy is the original poster child of the ex-gay movement. You wanna know what just happened? He came out and said, yeah, it's all bullshit. Now, it's interesting because he actually bought into it at the beginning and he tried his best to stop being gay, but uh, you'll be surprised to learn it didn't work. No. Listen to this, quote, I no longer support the ex-gay movement or efforts to attempt to change individuals, especially teens who already feel insecure and alienated. I feel great sorrow over the pain that has been caused when my words were misconstrued. For the better part of 10 years, I was an advocate and spokesman for what's been known as the ex-gay movement, where we declared that sexual orientation could be changed through a close-knit relationship with God, intensive therapy, and strong determination. At the time, I truly believed that it would happen. And while many things in my life did change as a Christian, my sexual orientation did not. He added, quote, Today I do not consider myself ex-gay and I lo no longer support or promote the movement. Please allow me to be clear. I do not believe that reparative therapy changes sexual orientation. In fact, it does great harm to many people. Now, he has a fascinating story because I believe when he married, uh, his wife was supposedly an ex-lesbian. Um, now they're in the process of getting a divorce. So this story, here's why I love this story, because number one, it's what we all knew was going on under the surface. I mean, we come on, ex-gay, ex-gay, ex-gay. That's as ridiculous as me waking up tomorrow and saying, you know, I'm straight and I like vagina, but I'm in the mood for some dick today. Or, you know, let me try to force myself to like men by undergoing therapy. You know what they do in the therapy? There was uh, one, uh, I forget who, what his name was. He does the ex-gay therapy where he claims he's ex-gay. He has gay men come in. He puts them on his lap. He rocks back and forth with them. And he says, gayness, go away. Gayness, he's rocking with a man on his lap. Their dick, his dick is on their ass. Yeah, man, that's totally uh, therapy for you. Who are you kidding? Who are you kidding? So I love this because we knew it was what was going on under the surface. We know this guy's not ex-gay, even though he claimed to be for a while. And he finally came out and said it. Yeah, bullshit. It does, it's not real. It doesn't exist. It's like uh, there was another guy, similar story to this. He was one of the leading guys in the ex-gay movement. He would go around and give speeches and everything. He was caught on the gay sex app Grinder. No, these guys are awesome, man. I'm telling you, it's all about overcompensation.